started flying. Now he flew, right? But he when he's up there, he kind of forgot. He was so busy worrying about how to get up that he forgot what to, to make something to come back down. So when he was up there, he was a lot really worried, and what ended up happening was that he kind of crashed. If you see the video, you'll see him crash. So what did he forget to make? Now birds, what do they have that helps them land? Tail. A tail. Now how does the tail work? So you have, oh, the feather works perfect. Okay. So when a bird is about to land, it pulls its tail up, which works like a parachute to slow it down. Airplanes, what do they have in the back that helps them steer? Yes. They have what? Yeah, they have, they have the, the birds. So what happens is that it helps them steer and helps them uh, land. So that tail is very, very important. He forgot to make that, so because he forgot to make that, he crashed. But he didn't die. From what I heard, he broke his arm. Impossible. We can, we can make sure. I thought he broke his arm. But anyway, I tell the kids that. But, um, <laughs> There's an area over there if you want to make sure. Um, so Basim Nifrasi tried to fly, and that was um, hundreds of years before the Wright brothers or even Da Vinci actually tried. So if you guys want to know who's the first guy to try to fly, it's this guy above us, Basim Nifrasi. I like his sticker. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm trying that. It's more advanced than this guy developed like a flying machine in Germany. Uh-huh, you got it. Oh no, oh no. There we go. Alright. Where do you put the paper? Now normally this is a this is a model of the actual safe. So what would probably happen is that maybe this thing would come up. So this thing you probably take off. Maybe you know this thing would come off too. Maybe you can put something inside. actual thing would have to have the file on the side for it. And remember how I said it has to have a combination? If you look inside here, you can actually see pins. You guys see the pins? Yeah. So there's pins that have to line up right here so that you can pull it up. Otherwise, they're just going to hit that and not go up. They're going to hit the sides. So, now we got to put it back. Cool. Alright, does anybody have any more questions? Anybody want to ask me about anything else on the table? Because there's something else here that I want to talk about because my character. Uh, now, Al Zahrawi was the father of surgery. Now, 1,000 years ago, did you guys they know knew that they did surgery? No, right? So how do you think they did surgery? Like saws, saws, and primitive, you know types of tools, right? Well, actually, this guy, uh, Mazahrawi, was the doctor to the caliph and even the, uh, the poorest of people in, um, in Spain. Now, Mazahrawi, he invented a lot of different things. He actually invented 200 surgical tools along with writing a book known as Al-Gitab al-Tasrif, which is actually a medical encyclopedia. So think about 30 books just about surgery. All about surgery, uh, uh, optics, dentistry, all these different things, and he wrote them in his books. Page after page, he actually laid down um, specific surgical procedures that he prevented himself. So five centuries after Al Zahrawi passed away, do you guys know what happened? They were still using his books. Five centuries after he passed away, think about that. Now, okay, I'm a doctor. So if you get a cut, you know. I have a cut. Oh no, you got a cut. So yeah. now I don't have a bandaid on me. Sorry, guys. So this is something called cat gut. Does anybody know what cat gut is? Intestines of the animal. Okay, so cat gut, right? Think about guts. He said it's intestines. So basically, we have not cat intestines. We have uh, cattle. So whatever constitutes on a cattle, you know, whatever it would be, uh, their gut. They take it, they string it up. Okay, now why do they need to string it up? Has anybody ever heard of stitches before? Raise your hand. Stitches, stitches. Okay, what? How are stitches used? What are they used for? So yeah, a doctor would probably sew skin back together instead of clothes, right? So let's say, right, I got a really, 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 really deep cut in my arm, right? Like an inch deep. My arm is an inch Let's say it's an inch deep, right? So now because that that uh, that cut is so deep, you can't just put a band-aid on it. It's not gonna work. So you go to the doctor and he stitches it up. Now, do I just leave the stitches there and then it goes away by itself, or what, what happens? You gotta go back to the doctor, and the doctor actually has to take the stitches out. 
right? After a couple of weeks after it heals, you go back to the doctor, doctor takes it out. Now let's say I take one of you guys, let's say I take this guy with the camera, because he's recording me, so I'm gonna throw him on the table. Throw him on the table, right? And now he has some sort of illness or something that's bothering him inside his body, right? And I need to do surgery. So I got my clothes on. Okay. So I cut him open. He's open now, right? And now there's something bad, so I stick my hand inside and I pull out the bad stuff. I pull it out, throw it, throw it away in the garbage. That was garbage. Okay? So I, yeah, it was disgusting, right? But it was, I have to save his life. I'm a doctor, you know? So I have to take out all, I have to do all the nasty work. But I want to save his life. So I take out all the bad stuff. All the bad stuff is gone. Now, I gotta sew him back up. Right? Because he's all, he's all open. So what do I do? I stitch the inside and I stitch the outside and that's it, right? No, wait a second. After two weeks, I have to come back and take out the stitches, right? So what am I gonna do? Am I gonna cut him back open and take the stitches out? I can't cut him back open again. I, there's nothing bad in there. It's gonna hurt him, right? So, Al Zahrawi invented the famous cat gun. Now, cat gun, the way it works, is that let me give you an example to tell you how it works. It makes, this makes it easier. Have you guys ever... You guys like sugar? How many of you guys like sugar? Yeah? Have you guys ever put sugar inside of water and mixed it up? What happens to that sugar? Disappears. Dissolve. Dissolve. Try, try to take some sugar or salt, put it in water, mix it up, it'll disappear. Now, this thing actually dissolves inside of your body at the same rate your body works. So this takes out about two to three, it's not gonna dissolve right away, it's gonna take about two to three weeks for this to dissolve. So by the time your body heals, this will be gone. And this too. <laughs> Obviously. Now, um, if, had, if it dissolved before your body heals, what do you think would happen? Exactly. So that would be useless, right? So it actually dissolves at the same rate, which is really cool. And the second thing is, is that it doesn't get rejected by your body. Because your body, it's, it's, really, it's really picky about the stuff inside. So, if this was in there and it didn't belong in there, your body might reject it and attack it, so that's bad. So this thing is really good. Nowadays, we have something called dissolvable sutures, which are basically stitches that dissolve inside your body, so they make them, and then they also use different animal parts. That's pretty cool. Now, this invention was made about 1,200 years ago. And it's still used today. So, you guys can see that all these different inventions lay the foundations of what we have today. Cars, safes, flight, and medicine.